Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust on my console community server, this is on my Xbox Series S and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the starting loadout for the players on your server. So as you can see here, my player has got some water bottles, the building plan, a sleeping bag, a machine gun, a sight to put on the machine gun um, and some food as well. And let me just, so I can show you how that works, let me just kill and respawn this character. So they're going to die. And we'll respawn them somewhere randomly and you should see that there we go they've got the same stuff so what I can do in fact is I could come down here and I can say uh, select that and attach that onto the machine gun and now our machine gun has a rather cool hollow sight on it as well and the idea is just to give your characters your players a little bit of a head start for maybe a little bit more of an uh, an easier experience you give them all sorts of stuff now i will say this is a little bit janky at the moment and not everything seems to be working when you're trying to trying to add it to a starter kit um, and it doesn't seem to be add, add, adding it to all the players either but I thought I would get this tutorial in so at least we know how to do it and you can have a play around and see how it goes now I'll put a link to some to uh, articles in the description below this video the main one being the kit spawning um, article which explains kind of what kits are um, and how you apply them to your server and I'll also um, add a link to this article at Corrosion Hour which gives you a list of items that, that are available in Rust PC. So some of these things won't be available in Rust console but it gives you the short names because things obviously have different names to what they are. Sometimes it's difficult trying to figure out what they're doing. So for example you can, um, while you're on this page you do a control F for example and you could put suit and you could see all the different suits that come up. But again, <coughs> not all of them are available in the console version of um, of Rust. So go watch out for that. In the description below this video, you'll also see um, this, which is a. Um, this is how basically you add the kit to your console. I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute. Um, and we're going to be putting these uh, these commands into the console and they will add them live. Now you don't have to do this with the stop server or anything like that, but you do have to do them one at a time. And kind of when I show you, it all will become apparent. So when you go over to your uh, Rust console edition community server at gportal, click on the console button so you get to here. And this is where we can enter commands directly into the Rust server.exe that's running and doing stuff. So what we need to do is you just start and if we just copy this bit, so if we copy that bit, and if you copy it from the description below the video and paste it in, you can see this says kit add scales kit rifle.ak11 one, one, and belt. So what that means is to a kit named scales kit, and if there isn't a kit named scales kit, it will create one, add the AK rifle add one of them in good condition and when we say belt what that means is add it to the hot bar at the bottom you know the one that you go through with your d-pads now this will have already done this <laughs> but I'm just going to go through and then let's do the next one so so we copy that you can only do them one at a time as far as I'm aware okay so let's paste that in so you can read it so this one says kit adds to scales kit ammo dot rifle which is the ammo for the AK 128 bullets which is the maximum you can have in a stack one which means in good condition and main means into the inventory and as you can see here it says it's successfully added ammo dot rifle to scales kit so let's get rid of that and you can add them all weapon blood whip building planner can of beans can of tuna small water bowl small water bowl and at the end we have here we have this Kit edit scales kit add group user. Now the idea of this is that when you when you enter that, it should mean that every single new player, when they respawn, they should get the kit. Unfortunately, what's happening at the moment, it's not recognizing the term user, probably. Now that may work work on your server. It could be because on my server there aren't any users, there's only <laughs> admins and owners, because that's me. But so so what I've done is I've done this um, 
kit edit scales kit add group admin and add group owner you can add as many groups as you want and it will see it will recognize that then if you go if you type in kit info scales kit boom, like so that will then come up it's a bit difficult to read but it's what you can see here so it's this kit info name scales kit um, the groups that it belongs to it's one of these should be user and admin and owner um, and then you've got the rifle AK now these numbers are very important before each item so we've got so the the, the number for the rifle is zero the number for the um, ammo is uh, one here we go the number for the hollow sight is two uh, the number for the can of tuna is a three. So the number is before. Now that is the ID of that particular thing. So if you want to edit your kit, you need to know what the number is. And obviously every time you edit it, that number may well change. So for example, we've done... Uh, you, actually, you can type kit list as well. Let's just do that one. Uh, where are we? Kit list... And it will just say, right, we've only got scales kit. I don't know why it puts that N in front. But we could say kit remove. So if we said kit remove scales kit 4. So if I wanted to remove the last thing, uh, which would be number 10 there, uh, I, which is the ammo, what I would do is I'd say kit remove scales kit 10. And that would remove the tenth item. If it was, say, something in the middle, like number six, which is one of the water bottles, that bit there, you'd have to be careful. You'd have to do kit info again because the numbers will have then changed relative to the items. Um, and if you go into the uh, article as well, it does explain how to delete kits and how to rename, rename kits and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully, by the time you come to watch this video, have a play around with it, um, the user thing will be working. And it will mean that um, your fresh spawns will be able to, you know, get whatever they like when they when they spawn in. I found that clothes don't seem to be working. So when you try and spawn clothes into people's inventory, that wasn't working for me. It may well work for you. I tell you what, I will do though is in the description below this video as well is I will put those two things in. A, so kit add scales kit the hazmat suit scientist and the jumpsuit as well. Um, you can add them as wear. So W E A R instead of main. Um, but that didn't work um, and main is meant to put it in your inventory and that didn't work either but give them a go anyway it's very exciting the fact that we can do this the fact that it's so easy and it could well be that there is a different user name like you like a group name for new players apart from user that comes up you'll have to keep an eye on the g portal discord and their faqs and that those pages as well with all the command commands on to see if they, they do change things up because at the moment for me anyway it's just working for admin and just working for owner but as i think you could agree it's very cool that we can do this and um, it adds a whole new dimension to making you know um, deathmatch servers um or harder you know um, servers or easier servers pve pvp all this sort of stuff when you can actually have it so that people spawn in with different stuff i kind of like the idea because it makes fresh spawns more dangerous doesn't it than um then they you know especially on public servers you spawn in don't you as a fresh spawn and basically you're not very dangerous so people often just come and kill you for fun where you know if you had a bow and arrow or a spear or something like that you spawned in with they'd be more likely to leave you alone rather than come and try and kill you just just for just for lols anyway that's enough from me what do you think put your questions in the comments down below hit like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to say and of course i'll see you again soon